And Bingo was his name. Oh. Yeah. Welcome to Far Outpost. Well, that is quite good. Leap warmer you have. Okay, I give you my special mustache viewing personality analysis. Da. Ah, uh, hmm, da, da, hmm. Da, da, I have got it now. Your bushy broom means that you are stubborn and selfish, man. So how did I do? No, do not protest. I know no one likes to admit their faults. Why did I sing? This is Bobom Village. The Bluey! There is nothing here. The Blamo! I think having a bomb out would be better. Hello, traveler. This is a very shitty Russian accent. Okay. First time in Far Outpost. Kabooey? What? Far Outpost Cannon? Why? Well, I apologize for that. No, I just heard a distraction. It's nothing, Kapowie. Hey, it's them. Snow is rare for you, bacock! In Far Outpost, it falls all year round. Ba bang! I like watching it shine and glow off the sunset. Ba bomber! Yeah, in case you couldn't tell, this place is Russia. How do footprints go away that quickly? Here are the chilly wonder Where's the traveling sisters to me? We, we came to Far Outpost for the skiing and ice skating, but there's nothing here. It's cold. Always check the guidebook before you go to Russia. That's the moral of this whole game. See you guys next Let's Play. <laughs> I make a big snow bob today. Maybe I'm as big as him someday. Papawee! But I do not want the melting to happen to me. Papaw! Poom. Snowman, igloo, snow fights. Da all, da all good, but snow gets boring sometimes. Chaboom! Now, let's just talk to this guy. Da, what business do you have here? What, a cannon? No such thing as here. No, listen here, you're the mayor, hmm? How can an official like you lie that way? There's a cannon right behind him. Old boy, I know I saw a cannon last time I was here, so do not lie, sir. Shush, you call yourself a bomb bomb? I spit at you. You know rules. There is to be no mention of cannon to non bomb bombs. No mention. Then how would frankly figure it out? We must not allow it to be used for evil. Of course I know that, you great blowhard. But we must use that cannon to get to the moon, old boy. And if we don't, sir, the world could end. Hmm, ha, world could end. Hmm, ah, well, we cannot have that now. Still, you cannot use cannon right now because of certain circumstances. Circumstances? We must have permission from Golbob to use cannon. He is the one who started the whole blasting things to faraway places policy. Once he got rich, he let the business slide and did not start it up again. Also, General White was one who devoted himself to operation of cannon. But he was depressed by losing job. He took cannon key and left. Golbob and General White. Da, that is correct. If you want to use cannon, you must find Golbob and General White. Very well then, we can't give up now, old boy. Mario, let's go find this too. Well, once you find them, come back and talk to me. Ready for more backtracking, guys? Ah, last chapter is great because of zero backtracking. But not this one. <sighs> So very luckily, we got this pipe, so we don't need to go wherever, like on the train for three days to see Goldbob. Lucky, lucky, lucky. And there's the train anyway. Good day to you, Gonzales. What can I do for you today? What's that you say? You must use the cannon and fire outpost to save the world. Mm, well, that is rather a pickle, isn't it? Very well then, I certainly owe you a favor or two, mm, I sh yes I should say. The truth is, I had hoped to resume my business with that cannon someday. And just between us, I only stopped because the wife said she didn't like the noise. 
Sadly, it takes a hefty bit of coin to get that cannon working, so... I'll need you to demonstrate just how much you want to use that cannon. If it were a matter of money, just how much would you pay? 1.64 coins! Everything I have. What? You'd pay every coin you own? All of them? You... Uh, really? So... Really? Well, I suppose I'm just surprised to hear you say that. Staggered, actually. You know, this means you'll be left with zero coins, with absolutely nothing. You know that, do you? I mean, think of it, man. If you spend all your coins, and I mean all of them, you would certainly face a great deal of difficulty down the road. No, I just have to beat the shit out of more enemies and get more. But hold on, I want to make sure you're doing this fully aware of the consequences. Are you sure you won't regret this later? Absolutely sure. I, I can really take them all, really. You won't say just kidding later on, or any part of tomfoolery like that. Just kidding! Well, alright then. Buy coins. wonder if he had less than 64 and chose that what he would do. Mm, you've certainly shown me something, sir. So, I give you my permission for you to activate the far outpost cannon. Yay! Oh, and I wasn't serious earlier, my dear fellow. How could I take your money? <laughs> it's a shame, I suppose. But I'll return your money. Yay! Now, soldier... Now, soldier, my boy. Uh, I can't remember... Uh, is this telling me what I'm supposed to do? I can't remember, because I need to... No, it's not. I guess I'll be right back. Okay, uh, yeah, I probably should have waited until I actually went down the pipe, because, uh, yeah, we're supposed to go to Petalburg, which is where we last saw him. Unfortunately, he is not there. And I think it's the gatekeeper that you talk to. Just a heads up, this is a wild goose chase. Oh, no, this is where we saw him. Yeah, this is a wild goose chase, so, yeah. Huh? What's that? General White? Oh, he was here a while ago, but he said something about taking a trip, and then he left. Wait, hang on a sec. He did say something about a deserted isle to the south. He was either going there or not going there. Thank you for the specifics. So, I'll be right back when we're at Kyohoki. General White? Yeah, he was here until a second ago. But he took off right quick. He said he was going to an arena or something. General White? Oh, you must mean that white bob bomb, huh? Yeah, he used to come here all the time. But I haven't seen him lately. Now that I think about it, I think he headed off to some huge tree. Or not. Welcome to the Great Tree! Eh? General White? Yeah, he's an old bob bomb with the great mustache. But I have no idea where he went. He may have said he was going somewhere dark. Huh? General White? Yeah, I know that old guy. He's the White bob -omb, right? He was here until recently. What? Where did he go? What am I, a secretary? He looked tired, I know that. Back to Far Outpost, I guess, because I have no idea what that means. Shine Spread I missed, yeah. And, before I talk to him, the last Shine Sprite of the game. Bada bing, bada boom. What? You cannot find General White. You fucking ass. <sighs> hmm. Now where did he go? This makes trouble for us. We definitely need him. Otherwise, we cannot even operate the thing. So what to do? <sighs> He seems to be asleep. Wake him. He's still asleep. Try again. He's still sound asleep. Try again. He's definitely still asleep. Try again. He's still sawing logs. Try again. He cannot be more asleep. Try again. He's counting sheep. That's something you do while awake trying to fall asleep. He woke. Nah, still asleep. Fuck you, game. 
You can't see because of Flurry. Sleeping like a stashed baby. Flurry, move, please! He's not even budging. I can see he's moving his feet, so that's again a lie. He's still snoring away. I can't really hear snoring, but... Guess I'll snore! Now, who are you? I am tired. I do not need your attention. I just want to sleep as all is hopeless. What? That mustache, that hat, and that hammer even. Hut, hut! I've been looking everywhere for you. You fucking dick. Why? Well, to bring that cannon back online? I had lost my life's work, my very reason to live. I found myself at wit's end. And then, the Rogueport fortune teller told me... Seek the man with the red M hat. Well, currently it's a green M hat. They should have just made it M hat and blue overalls. Actually, no, Warrior doesn't keep them and neither does Waluigi. Red M hat and overalls. The one with the hammer and stash. Well, fulfill your dreams or something like that. Hut, you need to use the cannon to help you save the entire world. Hip, hip, hurrah! The fortune teller is right. So what are we waiting for? I shall go get the cannon ready, so go tell the mayor. Now get moving. How, do I... How did the mayor not see him come in here? And again, this is one of these things I'm not actually sure if he's in there or not before talking to the mayor. Like, he's not there when you start your journey, but after the he's tired thing, if you go in without talking to the mayor, I'm not sure if he's in there. So, cannon is back online. We could just explode with the light. Now let us shoot you guys to the moon. Oh. We've done it, darling. Now, you follow me. So yeah, no shine spirits in chapter 8. I'm pretty sure that's just to be nice. You can come this way. Like, just so you don't have to leave to upgrade Miss Mouse, or whoever you decided to leave to last. Um, and not on the moon, I'm not sure why exactly, but whatever. Now you stand here. <gasps> They're trying to kill me, guys! They killed me! They don't want me to save the world. That's actually Grotus in disguise. General White, is Big Bomb Cannon ready? Hut! Leave it to me. Now, men, you know the drill. Load the Big Bomb Cannon. Ha, ho, ha, 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 boom! Now, positions, everyone. Yes, sir! Aren't these guys all civilians? Or does this town have no civilians? Bring guidance system online. Bring guidance systems online. System now online. System check. System check. All clear. Prepare for detonation sequence. Open outer hatch. Isn't it already open? Air poop. No, it's not. Oh my god. Holy shit, that was a long fall, Mario. Open inner shutter. How did Mario get in there then? Elevate. On my mark. Ah, laser guidance! You stay, I'm assuming that's what that is. Didn't the laser burn the paper? And the snow. Holy shit. Big cannon. That's how it shoots to the moon. Maybe that's what they should do. Instead of wasting money building spaceships, just build a giant cannon. Sighting target as moon. In Russia, of course, because I, I guess Russia's the most space savvy. I don't know. Direction 75.38, elevation 54.66, range 389603. Here's the moon. Wind speed, 1.08. Current direction, 3.03. .03. Current elevation, negative 2.39. Wouldn't that mean I shoot into the ground? Target locked. Chamber hatch open. Now, everyone in! Where'd you guys come from? Yeah, someone fell out with a dumbass. They still have room in there. Close chamber hatch. It's crowded in here, boom! Stop pushing, bazoom! Ow, ow, ow! You're on my foot, baboom! Why are they walking? It's tight in here, plume! 
I'm getting nervous. Stop breathing on my neck. You don't have a neck. Conditions all green. Stand by, okay? It's my... It is time. Big bomb cannon. Fire! <laughs> Wait. Space helmet? Yahoo! Bing! Go, go! That was awesome! Good luck, Mario. Why did I say that? Like, Luigi style talk? Yee! Hey! Fuck breathing. Unless they somehow. The Axonauts that are holding Peach genetically engineered the moon so you didn't need- Well, it does kind of look like there's an atmosphere there. My, that was exciting! I'd never dreamed I'd do a thing like that. Well, here we are, darling, the moon. So, dear, let's move, hmm? Let's find that last crystal star and save Peach. Yay, jumping! Yay, seeing you guys next time!